The Metaphysical Society was a British society, founded in 1869 by James Knowles. Many of its members were prominent clergymen. Papers were read and discussed at meetings on such subjects as the ultimate grounds of belief in the objective and moral sciences, the immortality of the soul, etc. A description of one of the meetings was given by William Connor McGee, then Bishop of Peterborough, in a letter on the 13th of February 1873. Archbishop Manning in the chair was flanked by two Protestant bishops right and left, on my right was Hutton, editor of The Spectator, an Arian, then came Father Dalgarns, a very able Roman Catholic priest, opposite him Lord A. Russell, a deist, then two Scotch metaphysical writers, freethinkers, then Knowles, the very broad editor of The Contemporary, then, dressed as a layman and looking like a country squire, was Ward, formerly Rev. Ward, an earliest of the perverts to Rome, then Greg, author of the Creed of Christendom, a deist, then Frode, the historian, once a deacon in our church, now a deist, then Roden Noel, an actual atheist and red republican, and looking very like one. Lastly Ruskin, who read a paper on miracles, which we discussed for an hour and a half. Nothing could be calmer, fairer, or even, on the whole, more reverent than the discussion. In my opinion, we, the Christians, had much the best of it. Dalgarns, the priest, was very masterly, Manning, clever and precise and weighty, Frode, very acute, and so was Greg. We only wanted a Jew and a Muslim to make our religious museum complete life, I. 284. The last meeting of the Society was held on 16 May 1880 and it was dissolved later in November of that year. Huxley said that it died, "...of too much love," Tennyson, "...because after ten years of strenuous effort no one had succeeded in even defining metaphysics." According to Dean Stanley, we all meant the same thing if we only knew it. Topic. Members The members from first to last were as follows Dean Stanley, of Westminster Abbey John Robert Seeley, English essayist and historian Rodin Noel, poet James Martineau, English philosopher William Benjamin Carpenter, physiologist and naturalist James Hinton, surgeon and author Thomas Henry Huxley, Darwinist biologist John Tyndall, physicist Charles Pritchard, astronomer Richard Holt Hutton, writer and theologian William George Ward, Catholic theologian Walter Bagayho, economist and editor James Anthony Frode, historian Alfred, Lord Tennyson, Poet Laureate Alfred Berry Lord Arthur Russell, British politician William Ewart Gladstone, Liberal Prime Minister Henry Edward Manning, Archbishop and Cardinal James Knowles, Architect and Editor John Lubbock, 1st Baron Avebury Henry Alford, churchman, scholar, and poet Alexander Grant Connop Thurlwall Frederick Harrison Father Dalgarns Sir George Grove Shadworth Hodgson Henry Sidgwick Edmund Lushington Bishop Charles Ellicott Mark Pattison George Campbell, 8th Duke of Argyll John Ruskin Robert Lowe, 1st Viscount Sherbrooke Sir Mountstuart Elphinstone Grant Duff William Rathbone Gregg Alexander Campbell Fraser Henry Ackland John Frederick Denison Maurice Archbishop Thompson Thomas Mosley 
Richard William Church William Connor McGee George Croom Robertson James Fitzjames Stephen James Joseph Sylvester John Charles Bucknell Andrew Clark William Kingdon Clifford Street. George Jackson Mivert Matthew Piers Watt Bowleton, classicist and amateur scientist William Waldgrave Palmer, 2nd Earl of Selborne John Morley Leslie Stephen Frederick Pollock Francis Aidan Gasquet C. Barnes Upton William Withy Gull Robert Clark Arthur Balfour James Sully Alfred Barrett <laughs>